fishing guru. So today we've actually picked up a dozen fresh oysters and uh, for this video we're going to show you four of our favourite ways to prepare and enjoy them. So stick around. Alright guys, so the first one we're going to run you through is super, super simple. It literally cannot get any easier than this. Natural. So this one here, do yourself a favour guys. If you've never tried a fresh, fresh oyster natural, please do so. They are absolutely amazing. So that one there, we actually don't want to do anything to whatsoever, right? So the second one we're going to play with, uh, we're going to do a really easy one. So we've got here what we call a champagne sorbet now. Unfortunately, on 200 uh, YouTube subscribers, we can't afford French champagne. <laughs> so what we've actually done is we've actually just frozen some Prosecco. So this is a, uh, a berry Prosecco. Uh, it'll be a little bit sweeter for the oyster. It's also a little bit tart, which is amazing. So all you do is you just freeze it down solid into an ice cube. And then you just get your fork, right, and you just run it across. And it creates like a... A sorbet or, or very similar to a sorbet so we're just going to chuck some of that on here it's a nice good amount we've just put them out of the freezer and just as a bit of contrast again uh, for the flavor we're just going to chuck a little bit of freshly chopped chives so really finely chopped chives uh, that will give it just a little bit of a kick as well so that's a really easy one guys that's one of our favorites it just it tastes amazing just the flavor combination of the uh, the bubbly as well as the oyster and the chives. So the third one and the fourth one are a little bit more complex. So third one, we're gonna do a Japanese style oyster. So um, what we've got is we've got some, just some shallot, uh, which we've finely diced. Uh, we're gonna chuck that into a glass. We've got some uh, ketchup manis or sweet soy sauce. So you just want just a little dash of that one. It's really, really thick, this one. Normally I prefer the sweet one, but uh, we don't have that one available at the moment. So just a little bit of that. And then the last ingredient is sake. So uh, this is a, a decent quality drinking sake. You can also use like a rice vinegar as well, uh, if you don't have any of that around, or maybe a sushi seasoning, if you've got any kicking around in the pantry. So just give that a, a bit of a mix up, a bit of a stir up. And that's essentially our sauce. So this one's really, really quick, guys. We've got some uh, some uh, seaweed salad. So you can make this yourself. I cheated. I picked this up for about three bucks at the sushi, sushi joint today uh, after work. So just like to put a little bit of that. I'm going to use my hands because unfortunately the, uh, the spoon doesn't work very well. Just going to put a little bit of that on the oyster. Try and bunch it up. Maybe a little bit more, just to... So this is just pickled seaweed, guys, essentially, with a couple of other little bits and pieces, some flavouring and whatnot. All right, we then chuck just a uh, half a spoon of our mix over the top. Sorry, I had the wrong camera angle. We'll just get a bit of the sauce as well. And then just for a bit of colour, we're gonna chuck on a little bit of caviar. So you can use salmon roll as well, of course. Caviar, um, this is a this is a poor man's caviar. It's a lump fish roe. Uh, still has very similar taste, not quite as uh, elegant though. Um, but it's more so for the pop. It's more the pop of having the balls in your mouth and then that little bit of extra salt because we're using a very, very sweet soy sauce. So that's it there. That's our Japanese style one done. All right, now the last one that we're going to do uh, is, a, is a citrus one. So what we have here is we've got some uh, what we call finger lime uh, or lime caviar it's commonly referred to. It's a native Australian lime. Uh, if you can find it in season, snap up as much as you can and stick them in the freezer because uh, I made the mistake of doing this video out of season and uh, I just paid $477 a kilo for a couple of these little containers from the freezer section so um, we used to have a tree but unfortunately we don't any longer but it's what it is it's actually a um it's essentially the inside of a, a finger lime which is about the size of your finger funny enough uh, and they call it lime caviar because it's actually a bunch of really really strong potent balls like citrus balls that they just pop in your mouth and 
They've just got this amazing sort of really strong citrus flavor. So we're going to be fairly generous because I paid for it. So we might as well. And then just to finish that one off, we've got some limoncello. Uh, this is an Italian liqueur made from uh, a base spirit. You can make it yourself out of vodka and lemons, but um, keep an eye out. We've got another video for that. So we're just going to just put a little bit on there. Uh, we've pulled this one out of the freezer, guys. Uh, because of the alcohol content, it doesn't freeze, but when it's ice cold, it's just sensational. So we just topped it up with a little bit of that. And then again, for contrast, we're just going to chuck just a little bit of chive on there. So there you have it. That's uh, that's four of our favorite ways to eat oysters. You'll notice there's no Kilpatrick here. Um, I'm not a fan of cooking them. I'll eat them, but I'd rather have them uh, in their ultimate glory, which is natural. Uh, these flavors just obviously complement those. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully that helps or inspires. And uh, like always, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Cheers.